everyone, welcome back to Alan Walker Theories. As the title implies, I will be unboxing my merchandise and gift from Alan and his team, which is gonna be super cool. This beautiful box right here. I'm not showing you my address, that's creepy. Uh, without further ado, I'm gonna get into my unboxing and reaction, and then I'll try on the clothes and review them. All right. Okay, this is this is my first signed picture by Alan. I'm excited. <gasps> it is a note. Okay, I'm gonna like put it in front of you as I read it. I'm just gonna cut to this scene so you guys can actually see the note a little bit better and I'm just gonna read it to you guys. So, dear insert my name here. Thank you for always being so dedicated to the world of Walker and being a part of our Walker community. I'm so amazed by the work you and the rest of Alan Walker theories are doing, putting every clue together piece by piece and analyzing every video I put out there. I'm impressed. I wanted to show you my gratitude by sending you some merch. I hope you like it, um, Alan, or someone from Alan's team. So this is very cool. It's my first actual thing signed by Alan, which is really exciting. So this is definitely gonna be uh, stuck up somewhere in my room to never be taken down again. Thank you. Ooh, they've upgraded to like AV8 like tissue paper. And I also have, ooh. Okay, let's open the little one first. I think this is, are these the, like the stickers? I think this is a sticker. And it feels like, I have these. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, it's not shiny. Wow, I got like duplicates of everything. That's so cool. I'm definitely gonna like stick these on like everything I own. <laughs> I wanna be so gentle with this. Ooh, I see what it is. this up so nicely. Thank you whoever did this. Ah! Oh my gosh. So here, let me show you. So currently I have the AV8 fake a smile long sleeves. Okay. So AV8 on the front when I'm in hell on the back. So that's that. I'm so excited. I got a hoodie. Ooh, Aviate hoodie. Yes. I love this. I love the detailing on this. Like, and ooh, I got the sweatpants. These are gonna be so nice because I love sweatpants. I live in these. I know I will. Oh, they have a pocket. They have, oh, these pockets are zippered too. Oh my God. These are the highest quality sweatpants I own now. That's official. And like, I'm just gonna bring up, the tags look really nice. Like, I also realize I have crinkly noises in the background, but man. Last time, if I recall correctly, I got extra smalls. So I'm kind of hesitant as to how these are gonna fit. For those of you who don't know, I'm extremely, extremely short. So we'll see how this goes. Oversized clothing is in, so I don't think that's gonna be an issue. Uh, I will check back in once I've tried these all on. All right, I'm gonna be reviewing the hoodie first. First impression hasn't been washed yet, um, but extremely soft and plush on the inside. Um, a little bit on the large end, but again, I will mention I'm a very small person, so I don't think this is going to be an issue for anyone other than me. Print quality seems nice. It's a little bit puffy. I don't know if you can really see that. I'll see if I can include a close up. Hoodie strings seem nice. I mean, pretty standard. Um, back, again, very well printed. The hoodie is actually like double lined in fabric, which I also appreciate. Um, in comparison to previous merch, I think it holds up pretty well. Um, only, I guess, minor complaint is that the like cuffs on the sleeves are a little bit thinner, but more stretchy than in previous merchandise versions. Um, I'm gonna be comparing it to the 20 million hoodie, which I also have. In comparison, this one almost felt around the same thickness, but isn't as soft. So I'd say this one's probably softer. However, you could also make the argument that that's because this one has been washed and this one hasn't. I left it, I mean, it's been in the box for three days, it's germ-free. I do think the print quality is good. I hope it holds up. I don't really see why it wouldn't. I very much like how it's more subtle on the front and louder on the back. 
I just think that's cool. Oh, by the way, one last thing in regards to the hoodie. I love the fact that it actually has a pocket. The other 20 million hoodie, and I don't know about some of the other merch, but this one actually has a front pocket, which is huge to me because I'm a huge pocket person, as you will learn through this sweat paint review. So I obviously, I love the little uh, megalith logo here, but huge important factor to me, not only has one, two, three pockets. I love pockets. You know I love them. But these ones are actually zipper, very high quality zipper. I love them. If you're a woman, I guess you would probably know that women's pants typically have far fewer pockets than we need. So I'm very excited about this very high quality pants, nice and thick, nice and warm. Um, a smidge too long in my opinion. But again, this is because I am like really, really short. I think on any other person, these would fit perfectly fine. Yep, looks nice. I really don't have much else to say about that. I do think these are a very good like option if you want nice thick sweatpants, but if you're looking for something lighter, uh, this is not something I would actually wear while exercising. These are more like bum around, read a book kind of sweatpants. Waistband is super nice, has nice cinch ties, definitely fits me. I got sent a small, and that's the smallest size I think they have, but I really do like it because it fits me well and i'm always concerned with like unisex merch that things aren't going to go small enough words of advice um it never hurts to go a little bit larger but you kind of are stuck if you have a sweatshirt that's too small so i guess just words for the wise i'm going to change into my long sleeve shirts and give a review on that briefly i am back with the long sleeve t-shirt variant Again, very comfortable, it's 100% cotton, so you really can't go wrong with it. Again, nice detailed printing on the sleeve. It's like, I turn my arm and I can read it, so I don't really know what direction this is meant to read, but got fake a smile. I know it's upside down, but you know, looks nice. Um, very nice printing on the front. I think it's cool, you actually get a lot of detail. Not as much detail is on the hoodie front because there was more, there was like graphics down here, which aren't on the t-shirt. And then on the back, like I will back up as far as I can, it's very, very long. One other thing I do want to discuss is the price point of the merch and whether you think it's going to be worth it for you. I would say the clothing is high quality. You can tell that, at least per my experience, this is, especially for the hoodie and the sweatpants, higher quality than what I would get at just the normal general clothing store. Um, I would say if you buy higher end clothing, this might be on par with what you might buy. It's very thick, very warm. I just want to throw that out there just so you know what you can expect when you buy your clothing. Another thing to think about is if you are interested in ethically sourced clothing, uh, per my knowledge, according to the website, all of the clothing is ethically made. So all the people who make the clothing are paid livable wages, which I think is really nice. And normally I don't really have the money to afford that kind of stuff. I'm pretty stingy on my clothing. I'll be very honest about it. But I think it's cool that the merchandise gives people an opportunity to help encourage like ethical clothing making without having to pay an additional price on their own clothing. I mean, it makes you feel good to know that while you can buy merchandise, you can also do it in a way that's good and sustainable. I do have another merchandise review video over here. It was from a few years ago when I was uh, reviewing Alan's mask. If you want to see some cringy content or just want to watch a mask review, you can go over here and enjoy that. I also got sent stickers, which are super cute. I don't know if you can really see them. So the World of Walker sticker, some holographic stickers. We have these little stickers of Alan. I think this is such a cool edit with like the glitch side uh, effects on the side. I like these. These really cute potato stickers. My mind tells me these were made by a fan and I think they're just adorable. I love them. I love potatoes. I love, I potato you, the whole idea. Just absolutely adorable. I have nothing else to say. I love these. And then we have little prophecy discs, which I think are also very cool. I will definitely be sticking these somewhere very soon. I'm not really sure where yet, because I have a lot of stickers now. <laughs> Otherwise, I absolutely love the merch. I want to thank everybody and hope you guys have a great day. I need to do like a photo shoot like this. It's like, I need some red sunglasses. No, I should, I should get my red bandana and wear it. And then I can look like cowboy bandit, but also promoting merch at the same time. Why am I here? Why am I saying this?